Hey, what's up, guys? It is your boy, Wolf Rock, and I talk all things hockey. This video is going to be episode number two of what these teams need to do in the offseason to be good again, or whatever it is. My previous video, I did it on the Pittsburgh Penguins, my favorite team. And yeah, it was a very good video. You should go check it out right now. Link will be in the description. But yeah, guys, this video, I'm going to be doing the Minnesota Wild. Obviously, I know this team very well. So I'm going to get straight into it. But yeah, guys, if you guys do enjoy at all, please drop a like. Also, you can subscribe if you want. You can join the family, guys. Join the family. We're going to be on this wonderful site that's called Cap Friendly. Type that in. Link will be in the description. Very good website for all the cap space, NHL, trades, all that stuff. All things hockey. Good website. Not promoted, obviously. It's just a very good website. Let's go straight into the Minnesota Wild. Okay, guys. Minnesota Wild here. Um, obviously, they have $12 million cap space. It's not terrible at all. It's actually very good. They got their picks. And yeah, let's see the roster here. Obviously, I know this team very well. My brother played for them for like eight years. So I know this team like the back of my hand, okay? We all know Zach Brise and Ryan Suter have the worst contracts in the world. Terrible contracts. This Brise is 36 years old. And he still has five more years on his contract at $7.5 million. Same thing with Suter. It's absolutely horrendous. So they're going to have to eat that for five more years. And if they buy him out, it'll be even worse. Also, they have Matt Zuccarello, 33, $6 million for four more years. That's, there's, they have so many terrible contracts. Um, but yeah, um, obviously, this team thinks they're good. Obviously, they're not terrible. They're at mid-pack every year. So they just think they have a chance to win the cup for some reason. But they don't. So they always go for it when they should just rebuild and blow it all up but they don't for some reason their management and their owner thinks they think they have a chance every year but in every oh, everyone's opinion they know they don't so i'm gonna be bill garen today and i'm gonna be the gm of the wild so if i was the gm of the wild the first thing i would do first thing is get a goaltender devin dubnik alex Salok, get out of here you can leave i can buy you out dubnik anything like that because you guys are useless yes it's a bad thing when your starting goaltender from that season makes $785,000 and your $4.3 million goalie is on the bench. So that's obviously a problem. So we're going to trade for a goalie. We can either trade with Pittsburgh, get Matt Murray. We could either get a Holtby from free agency. All that. There's so many good goalies from free agency this year. And they might even get a Mark Andre 3, I've heard. So they, there's a lot of things that the Wild could do to get a good goalie. And that's a good thing to start with, is get a, goal to, uh, get a good goalie. So if I wasn't focused on goalies, did that, or even got a goalie, cool. On offense, the top six is looking terrible. Your best player on the team is most likely is like Kevin Fiala. And that's not very good. Yes, he had a very good season. He has $3 million for one more year. It's not a bad contract for what he did last year, but I just, in my opinion, I don't know if he can be a first liner on a team. Yes, he did it on the Wild, but it's the Wild. So if he was on like Pittsburgh or Tampa, he would be third line, I think. So, but it's a good start for him being on the rise right now. He's being on the rise, so we know that's at least a positive. Obviously, we know Mikko Koivu is off the team. He might retire, might not, we don't know. Um, we know they have a good young players, a couple of them. They have a Jordan Greenway, a Nico Sturm is okay. Uh, Luke Cunnan is pretty good, pretty good. Ryan Donato is decent. Um, there's also a Nick Bukestad just got traded. Uh, I don't know how he's going to do. Let's see if he even plays a game because in Pittsburgh, he got hurt every single game. They have Kirill Kaprizov. He's the one like bright thing you can see in the Wilds future. He led the KHL in scoring for years. He's one, he was probably the best player in the KHL. Obviously, I don't know KHL, but I'm just reading. I'm just saying what I've read off articles. But he could be like a Artemi Panarin. Panarin did everything like that in the KHL and came to the NHL and lit it up. So maybe Kaprizov can do that for the Wild, but I doubt he's going to be happy. He only has one year, I think. Whatever, I don't know what. He might be an RFA next year, two years. So I don't know if I doubt he wants to say because that team's going to be rebuilding for four, five, six years, because they're oof, they're in terrible space right now. Um, Victor Rask, you're trash. Get off my team. But the one player I really do like that doesn't get all the hype and all the respect he deserves is honestly Marcus Foligno. He's very good. He's very underrated, if I'm being honest. He's 29 years old, makes 2.8 million. He's a fourth line grinder. 
but he's good. I don't know his stats and everything, but he was a solid player for the Wild. If any Wild fans disagree with me, you just a hater and don't know hockey, if I'm being honest. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm, the, I'm trying to be the nicest way possible. This guy is good. I would want him on my team. He's all, Every time I watch the Wild game with my brother, he tries his heart out every single game. He gets in those dirty air. He's like a Patrick Hornquist, but a little worse for the net. But he's like, what, 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. He's an absolute animal. He, he can fight. He does so much good. I think he's one of the best players on the Wild, and I think I would keep him on my team for sure. They have very good defense. Obviously, he doesn't show because their goals aren't very good. But Matt Dumba, Jared Spurgeon, Jonas Burdeen, even a Carson Soucy. You could saw some in there. But those three I said are absolutely very good. I know the sense that makes sense right there, but they're very good. I would take Dumba. I would take Spurgeon. I would take maybe Brodeen. But I'd take the first two 100% on my team any single day. I would take Matt Dumba over a Chris Letang, over anybody on the Penguins. Maybe not John Marino, though. But I would take Matt Dumba any single day of the week. This guy is good. I've seen him play hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of games. I know last season, he, the two seasons ago, technically now, he had, what, 15 goals in the first 25 games when he got hurt? And that his season was over, but he was on pace. He would might have won the Norse, or even in the conversation for top three. That guy was absolutely wild. Um, but yeah, I think he's gonna get traded this year. If I was the GMs, I would keep him obviously because I think he's good. But as of now, he's a good trade piece for a good picks, even maybe a young goalie prospect, something like that. But like, it just shocks me how the GM, how you can be the NHL GM and be this bad at predicting what their future is going to be like. It's absolutely crazy to me. But I would just blow it up. There's not much to do in this video. Just blow it up. Get a good goal. You could trade Dubnik, and you might have to give up a second, third round pick. I know you don't want to do that, but he might as not at well. He only has one more year. Just play with him. Just play him. You're not going to win next year anyway. Just play him. Do terrible. Same with Staylock. That's literally, you just have to throw and hope you get a first, round, a first overall pick. Even though you guys are very unlucky with that, but... I don't know. There's really nothing you can do as a GM right now. I'm not trying to be disrespectful or being rude to Wild fans. Nothing. I've been a Wild fan, fan for about eight years with my brother. So I'm, I'm just saying it off me being a GM. I'm not trying to be mean to anyone. Yes, I know every single player on the team personally. So I'm not dogging anyone. Who cares? Zuccarello, he took his bag. Who cares? I would do the same thing if I was Matt Zuccarello. I'd take six million, even though my team would be awful, and I know it's a bad thing for the team. Screw it. He knows the team was bad anyway, so I might as well take six mil. Like, why not? Comment down below what other team you want me to do. I know this video wasn't like the other one, because Pittsburgh guys has like a good roster, and I can actually make trades, but this is just blown up. Because if you, I don't know, you understand. You have to understand if you know hockey or you know the wild. You know, you just got to blow it up. Because this is a hot mess, and I don't know how you're going to fix it without just blowing it up. So last time I'm gonna say it. Bill Guerin, blow it up. But yeah, guys, comment down below on what team I should do next, what video I should do next. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy at all, please drop a like. Um, you can subscribe, join the Wild Fam. Trust me, guys, I'm trying to hit 1K. I'm trying to grow as fast as I can. I'm doing my best. I post every single day. But yeah, guys, thank you for clicking on this video. And I'll see you guys in my next little video. See ya.